Hi guys, this is Eve Robbins and this is a quick tutorial video on how to create a EXT partition on your SD memory card. Now of course you'll need an Android device to do this. I've chosen the Advent Vega as it's the one I do most of my things on. You'll need an SD card, preferably a new one, or one that's been unused or hasn't got any data on it you want to keep, as you will lose all your data during this process. Um, EXT partitions can be used in conjunction with an application called Link to SD, which basically moves some of your files to your SD card. Now, I know this is built into Android and you can partly run your applications from your SD card. So, for example, you've got a 10 meg application file, the inbuilt application mover will let you move 8 meg, 8 meg of that to your memory card and still keeps 2 on your actual device. Now, this is all well and good, but if you're running a lot of applications, this can soon mount up. So, what links to SD does, it takes that extra partition you've made on your memory card and allows you to use it as a part of the system as it's the same file format. So instead of moving 8 meg of 10, you can move the whole 10 meg. And then it creates a shortcut in on essentially your desktop or your applications folder. A bit like making it on a PC. So all the data is on the memory card. The only downside to this, if you lose your memory card, you lose the program. So there are ups and downsides to this process. I don't personally use this um, because I don't tend to have that many apps at the same time. But it's, it is a handy thing to know to how, know how to do. So I'm going to jump onto the PC and go through some preparation you'll need to do to your SD card. In case you've got any um, partitions pre-existing on the memory card or anything like that, we need to remove all that to make the process go a lot smoother. And then I'll jump back onto the Vega and go through the partitioning process. So uh, I'll see you guys in a sec. Right then guys, so we're on the PC. We're going to do some prep work on our SD card before we put it into the advent vega to partition it so what we're going to need to do is check in my computer what the actual size of the device is so you can see here it's 1.38 gigabytes now i know this is this is a two gigabyte card so i know that by going to computer management by right clicking my computer and get to manage you can get to this application here now if you select your memory card which is for me i you can see there it is 1.39 but there's also this 488 megabyte of extra partition space. Now this is from me playing with the partition tool previous to this. So what I need to do is get rid of this partition. Now I can just go like that and delete it, but then it becomes unallocated and I can't stretch this to make to fit it and I can't reformat this. So what I've done, I've scoured the web a little bit for a simple program to fix this. And I've come across a application called SD Formatter. Now this is from sdcard.org. I'll put a link in the doobly-doo. Version 3 covers uh, Windows 7, which is what I'm running, so that's great. Now, I've already gone ahead and downloaded this. What it can basically do is reinitialize the memory card, so that completely blanks it out, gets rid of all the partitions, all the formatting and everything, and gives you back you know, a nice new shiny card. So I've already gone ahead and installed it. So I'm just going to quickly run it, and you'll get your administration thing pop up if you're running the UAC and then you'll see this. Now on the left hand side you need to pick your drive which is going to be I. Now you see here it still sees it as 1.38 now what we have to do is go into options change that to full and change that to on. What that basically does it disregards any partition tables you've got and completely formats the card. So if I go to format here yes I want to format runs through quite quickly and now you see it's 1.86 which is effectively two gigabytes. So if I close this and go back into my computer, you'll see we've got a 1.86 gigabyte card. Now this is exactly the same process you go through if you want to get rid of that partition after you've made it. So if you're playing around, you think, I don't really need this, pop your card back into your PC and completely format it again with that application. That'll get rid of any partitions and give you a back a standard card. That's the quickest way i found. There are some long windy ways, but that's the quickest. So I'm going to jump back onto the Vega and show you just how to partition it. So we're back on the Advent Vega, it's now fully booted, so we're going to go to a link to SD that I've already installed. I will put a link to this in the box below so you guys can jump on the market and download it for yourselves. Now as I've run this before, it's going straight in. When you guys run it the first time, you'll be asked to pick what format of partition you're using. This is going to be EXT2. There is the option for uh, EXT3, EXT4 and 32 and a few other ones. EXT2 is the top option. 
it's already highlighted. Click it, click OK, and it'll ask you to do a reboot. Reboot your device and go back into Link to SD, and you'll see the screen as I've got it now. So to check your EXT partition is functioning correctly, click on Options and then Storage Info. You should see Internal, SD and SD Second. So our SD card is running at 1.39 gigabytes. So that's general storage for everything. And our EXT2 storage is 457, which is near as damn it, uh, 512 that we picked. It's not always megabyte to megabyte accurate, so it's uh, close enough. So from here you can jump onto your Lynx to SD and pick a program and start going through the process of moving it to your SD card and running it from there to save yourself a little bit of space on your device. So uh, that's how you create EXT partitions on an Android device. It works exactly the same way on any other Android device as long as you've got it rooted and you have Clockwork modification installed. There are other applications you can use with this. Link to SD is the most popular and it's free. We'll put a link to that in the box below, like I say. Um, as always, leave a comment. This video was a request from a comment from Peter M. Davies, so big up to Peter. Um, keep your requests coming and I'll keep the videos flowing. Um, as always, if you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.